my name is Michael Warner and I'm the project scientist for the Spitzer Space Telescope. I've been asked to answer the question, can we talk with Spitzer as long as we talk with Voyager, which is 40 years, and where will Spitzer be in 100 years? The short answer to that question is, in principle, we could talk to Spitzer after 40 years, but it's unlikely that we will be able to do so. Uh, this is sort of illustrated by this picture, which shows the orbit of Spitzer, and this is the Earth, this is the Sun, and with time, relative to the Earth, Spitzer has been drifting away, and right now it's out about here. So from this picture, we can see that it would take about 50 years for Spitzer to go all the way around. But right at the moment, we're only planning to continue to communicate with it for maybe uh, three or four more years. At which point, as Spitzer continues to move, we're going to kind of lose track of where it is and wouldn't quite know where to look when we wanted to recover it and talk to it uh, 40 years from now. In addition, we're not totally confident that the hardware on Spitzer will survive that long in the harsh space environment, although Voyager, of course, has in fact uh, survived for 40 years. The second part of the question, where will Spitzer be in 100 years? It takes it about 50 years to go around this circle. So in 50 years, it will come back close to the Earth, and then in another 50 years, it will be close to the Earth again. But uh, as I said, I don't think we'll be talking to it then. So I think our best strategy is to work well with Spitzer until the uh, mission comes to an end in the uh, next four or five years, and then wish her adieu and farewell as she continues to orbit the sun, uh, just as the Earth does. Thank you.